Piggy three. Hi there. Today I want to show you how to draw a seamless texture, um, stone texture based on um, old-fashioned way spelunky, or uh, also very very nice uh, dinner boy. Um, both you can play free. I mean Spelunky you can play old ver version of uh, the game uh, just search for the Spelunky game and the site, home site and um, Dinner Boy you can play uh, on the web website of um, Armor Games <coughs> Anyway, uh, today we use um, Krita free and uh, very powerful uh, tool to draw. Uh, I've just uh, discovered it uh, and uh, immediately changed it from um, my paint. Um, Krita has more uh, possibilities and uh, it's, uh, it works on my Linux machine and it also works on Windows, I suppose. <coughs> anyway, let's create a custom document 64 by 64. Um, okay, canvas create. And this is our 64 by 64 uh, texture. As I said, to create um, seamless texture, you need to uh, where are preferences settings configure Krita yes now the uh, there is a display you have to enable OpenGL <coughs> okay um, now what you can do with that is when you press W it shows you seamless uh, seamless workspace now uh, we can show the grid, of course. Where is the show grid? Yes, uh, with ten points step. And uh, now I change my mouse to my uh, stylus. Okay. So anyway, you can choose any brush uh, you want, but the goal is to to find uh, someone to draw nicely. Anyway. Uh, first of all, layers. Okay, now I want to fill it with um, I don't know some dark color, maybe even black. Looks nice. Now create a second uh, layer. When you press Insert key, you add a layer to paint. You know, paint layer. All right. So let's add it. <coughs> and now um, we change to the brush tool and now let's say we wanna draw three colors uh, I don't like this one I choose this one okay now it's doesn't look good in this resolution. So let's go back to uh, to this one. Okay. Now mm, let's choose the blue one. So let's say it will be more gray. Even here. here. Okay. Now. Okay. So uh, let's take three colors. One. Let's say three uh, darker, not darker. Three to that. Or what's the okay? So, uh, how to draw a uh, seamless texture? It's absolutely easy. Or uh, we can we can draw f first. We, we need a m uh, some kind of mask. Okay and we use a white to see where our stones are so too much ah that's better now 
Uh, let's draw some stones, okay? Looks good. You know, this is the small one. And the third one, let's say, here. Okay, ooh, that's not the good idea. We need it closer. And here, this will be the, the smallest one. You know, here, and... And now, when you press W, you can see what's happened here. And bam! It's seamless. Incredible. Okay. So now you can control where your texture ends and begins on the other side of the world. Let's draw it here. This one will be big. Right, and now we've got this one and the last one. Right. And we've got a seamless texture. It looks absolutely beautiful, right? So now we can press W again and using our layer, move it up, pressing Ctrl, of course, make it quite bigger and painting over our stones which is quite easy and fast now uh, I must copy the color here and using mm, mm, my eraser how to um, okay how to uh, use this tool sorry uh, is um, on my stylus I've got uh, two mm, buttons and one is to for moving um, and the second one is for this one one beautiful tool tool but but uh, the they can I can choose the right uh, brush so let's go back to the the brush the one I chose it was this one let me see I think so yeah okay now let's draw you can press W again to speed up our process It's absolutely fantastic. You know, on using GIMP, that was quite a nightmare, and my paint doesn't have this possibility, as far as I know. Or maybe it has, but I. Okay, now, and again, oh, we can work using. This W option anyway. So let's add some lights here and there. Okay. Thing. Yeah, and now some shadows. There. 
so many stones it's a stone age ok let's check once again here 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 ok that looks good this one here ok now um, <coughs> some cracks and points to break the image a little bit W again and of course this smaller brush to make it more detailed and now we've got let's turn off or even remove this layer you're, come on, you're gone and now w with this simple technique as you can see we've got a seamless stone texture thanks for watching and see you on the other side